Hey, what's happening guys? Today I'm sharing with you a keto bread recipe that's inspired by an entire loaf of classic Italian white bread. And what I mean by that is that the crust has got this great pull apart quality to it, and it's also got the perfect amount of chewiness to it, and the inside is light, airy, fluffy, and soft. It's like a pillow if bread could be a pillow. But the best part about this bread is that each slice only has two and a half grams of net carbs. That said though, it's not a low calorie bread. We're gonna be using a modified fat head dough to make this keto bread, and it is really high in fat. So that means if you're having a hard time eating enough fat during the day, this keto bread recipe might be the answer to your problems. I know a lot of people struggle getting their macros to 75%, 80% of their calorie intake being fat, this bread recipe can help you get there. Anyways, let's jump right into this recipe and I'll show you how to make this keto bread. First things first, we're going to preheat our oven to 375 degrees. Then we're gonna get out our food scale as well as a medium sized bowl. To that bowl, we are going to start adding the dry ingredients for our keto bread and the main dry ingredient is almond flour. So, that being said, we are going to start adding the almond flour to our bowl, and two cups or 224 grams of it is what we'll need for our bread. When we've added the almond flour, the next thing we're going to add is some unflavored whey protein powder. And this stuff is not only what gives this bread its white color, but also its soft airiness as well. So, as you're seeing here, we're going to add one and a half scoops or about 45 grams of it to our bowl. However, if you don't have this on hand, you can substitute it out with 75 grams of almond flour instead. Anyways, the next thing we're going to add is a heaping tablespoon or 14 grams of baking powder and a tablespoon or 10 grams of xanthan gum. Now at this point, we are going to get out our whisk and whiskify those dry ingredients until they're combined. Once they are combined, we're gonna set that bowl aside and get out an even larger bowl and start adding the fat head component for our keto bread. And as you're seeing here, the first component to that is adding three and a quarter cups or 370 grams of full fat mozzarella cheese. And then the next component is adding two ounces or 56 grams of full fat cream cheese. Then we're gonna soften our cheese up in the microwave. So to do that, we're gonna cook it for about 30 to 40 seconds. Then we're gonna mix the cream cheese into the mozzarella as best we can with the spatula. When that's taken care of, we're gonna microwave the cheese again, mix it again, and then we're just gonna repeat this process until the cheeses combine with one another, and most importantly, become stretchy and stringy when we're mixing them with our spatula. Once that happens, we're gonna add the dry ingredients to the cheese and then we are going to add a beaten large egg as well as two tablespoons or 30 grams of full fat sour cream. I know what you're thinking, Joe, do we have to use the sour cream to make this bread? And my answer is yes or at least use a full fat yogurt for your bread because this is very important in terms of giving the bread the right texture, that, that spongy, airy quality that the middle of the bread has. Otherwise, if you don't do that, the bread can end up pretty dry. And by the way, if you're making just the almond flour version of this bread, no protein powder, you're gonna wanna add just three quarters of a tablespoon or 10 grams of full fat sour cream or yogurt to make your bread. Okay, so now we're gonna use a spatula to work those ingredients together as best we can. That said, there's really no way around it. At a certain point, we'll need to use our hands to work the ingredients together into a ball of dough. And be patient because this can take a little while to happen, but as you continue to knead and work the dough with your hands, it will absorb more and more of the dry ingredients. So when that's looking good, we are going to start prepping our bread pan. I'm using an eight and a half inch by four and a half inch pan. And as you're seeing here, I'm rubbing water around the edges and bottom of the pan because it's going to help the parchment paper I'm about to add stay in place a bit easier when I add it to the bread pan. Then at this point, as an added precaution, I'm going to coat the parchment paper with a little baking spray, and then I'm gonna add the keto bread loaf to the pan. Anyways, when that's taken care of, 
I'll quickly coat the top of the bread with some baking spray and add some white sesame seeds to the top of it. So now it's time to get our bread in the oven and we're gonna bake this low carb keto bread for around 12 minutes uncovered and then we're gonna cover it with tin foil and bake it for another 70 minutes if we made the protein powder version and 80 minutes if we made the almond flour only version. Regardless, once the bread is finished cooking, it's very, very important that you let it cool down completely in the pan itself before cutting this keto bread into slices. However, when it does cool down, you'll wanna get your bread knife out and slice this thing up. And check out how awesome this loaf of keto white bread turns out. As always, for more info on today's low carb keto white bread recipe, check out the video description below and I hope you like it.